We live in a world in which electricity is indispensable for us to function. We treat it as something which we always have within our reach. However, energy supply is a very complex issue, and infrastructure is necessary for its transmission. This is the area in which, in Europe, there is still a lot to do. The Baltic states are representing an energy island because they are not connected with the European grid. It's a major challenge, a, a, a top priority for the European Union and the European Commission to support direct connection between Baltic states and uh, other member states. Kraje bałtyckie po II wojnie światowej i po odzyskaniu niepodległości w latach 90. były przyłączone energetycznie do wielkiego systemu Rosji. Są członkami Unii Europejskiej pod względem gospodarczym i pod względem politycznym, natomiast pod względem energetycznym są wyłączone poza Unię. Poland and Lithuania are two neighboring countries in Central Eastern Europe. They are connected by over 600 years of common history, including common political initiatives, increased economic relations and cultural initiatives. Now Poland and Lithuania are members of the European Union, an organization which creates security in Europe, both in the political and the economic dimension. One of the ways to achieve these goals is by creating a common energy market. The lack of a connection between Poland and Lithuania makes it impossible to close the so-called Baltic Ring. It is a concept of electrical power connections in the Baltic Sea region which will enable a free flow of energy. The lack of a land connection between continental Europe and the Baltic countries is the fundamental challenge here. Ważne jest, żeby zbudować linię, która dołączałaby kraje bałtyckie do reszty Europy. Taką linią jest właśnie projekt Litpolit. O tej linii, o tym projekcie energetycznym mówiono już od początku odzyskania niepodległości przez kraje bałtyckie. Due to this fact, in 2008, a strategic decision about building a cross-border electrical power line between Poland and Lithuania was made. Lithuania and Poland have been extremely active regarding the preparation and the implementation of this project in close cooperation with the European Commission. It really links the Baltic states to the rest of Europe. It allows the Lithuania, which imports two-thirds of the electricity, to actually get additional source of energy. It allows the Poland to enlarge uh, the energy security. Therefore, I'm so happy that we found a solution and now we will have this very important new interconnector. The project is partially financed from European Union funds and the total cost amounts to over 500 million euros. One of the priorities at the EU level was to create these interconnections. We are very glad here in the DG Regio to be able also to support this project through the European uh, uh, Regional Development Fund. We have supported the project through Connecting Europe facility because it was a project of common interest. We have also facilitated support from European Investment Bank. side, PSE, the National Transmission System Operator, is responsible for the project. It is one of the main businesses dealing with the transmission of energy in Central and Eastern Europe. Połączenie elektroenergetyczne Litpolink umożliwia eksport i import energii o mocy 500 MW z obszaru Europy kontynentalnej, a w szczególności z Polski, do obszaru państw Morza Bałtyckiego, w szczególności do Litwy. Dzięki temu uzyskujemy wymierny wzrost bezpieczeństwa pracy systemów elektroenergetycznych w tej części Europy. Warto podkreślić, że dzięki temu połączeniu wzrośnie również bezpieczeństwo dostaw energii do odbiorców końcowych, bo to jest w istocie sens funkcjonowania energetycznych systemów. The Lithuanian transmission system operator, Litgrid, is responsible for the projects on the Lithuanian side. One of Litgrid's priorities is to ensure the energy security of Lithuania through integration with the European power transmission system. Strategijinis projektas ne tik Lietuvoje, visai Europai, 
Tai pirmasis toks projektas sujungsintis Lietuvą su vakaru Europą, regionų prasme Baltijoje šalis su centrinė rytų Europą. Mes galėsim prekiauti elektrą nuo Helsinkio iki Lisabonos. Tai rinkos integracija yra kritiška infrastruktūra. The project to connection is a huge undertaking and also a big challenge. A double circuit overhead line will connect Elk in Poland with Alitos in Lithuania. Electrical substations will be built or modernized at both locations. The length of the line will be 163 kilometers, 112 kilometers on the Polish side and 51 on the Lithuanian side. The cross-border connection includes building a substation, Elk Bis, and an overhead line, modernization of the Alitos station and creating an HVDC back-to-back -back converter. It is a device created based on unique technology solely for the needs of the Litpol Link project. Located in a transformer station in Alitos, it is intended to connect two transmission systems which do not work synchronously. Pełni rolę takiego energetycznego sprzęgła umożliwiającego przesył prądu w obu kierunkach. Apart from constructional challenges, there is a difficulty of another nature. So, how is the route of an overhead line marked out and whose responsibility is it? Polink įmonė kaip tokia atsirado 2008 metais po to, kai strateginė partnerystė tarp šalių deklaracijų pagrindų pasirašė svarbiausiai valdžios institucijų atstovai. Pagrindinės užduotis, kurios įgyvenino Litpolink įmonė bendra Lietuvos ir Lenkijos įmonė, buvo svarbiausias uždavinys sukoordinuoti ir bendradarbiauti, vystyti ir plėtoti tarp šalių visose reikalingose institucijose tam tikrą bendradarbiavimą, kad projektas sėkmingai būtų įgyvendinti. Proces przygotowania budowy to jest przeprowadzenie niezwykle dużej ilości analiz, zebranie wielu danych z terenu, po to by trasę linii móc wytyczyć w sposób właściwy. Planning the route of the power line consists of many stages that are subject to rigorous legal restrictions. Respect for nature and green areas was an important issue at this stage of the planning. Te przepisy do ostatniego paragrafu były przestrzegane, lokalizując, a następnie wykonując linię. Było to ogromnie istotne, ponieważ Unia Europejska jest bardzo uczulona na kontekst przyrodniczy i społeczny finansowanych przez siebie inwestycji. With regard to the protection of nature, the project is subject to strict regulations, both under Polish and Lithuanian law and European regulations. One of the examples of limiting the interference of the project with nature is the use of over-forest lines. Therefore, we don't have to cut down large areas of trees in a forest. In Poland and Lithuania, to minimize impact on the landscape, some poles are painted. Special marks are also added to the wires to reduce the risk of collision with birds. Regulations relating to locating power lines near population centers and consultations with the local communities and local administration are also important. Konsultacje społeczne trwały we wszystkich gminach po kolei, przez które przebiega linia. W trakcie spotkań z mieszkańcami dowiadujemy się, czego najbardziej się boją. I okazuje się, że boją się oddziaływania pól elektromagnetycznych na własne zdrowie. The impact of electrical power lines on the human environment is limited. The electromagnetic field which they emit is weaker than that of a radio or TV set. Sound intensity does not exceed the level we have in our own homes. W oparciu o istniejące prawo, istniejące badania, istniejącą wiedzę naukową, linia, która jest budowana, jest linią bezpieczną dla mieszkańców. Labai svarbu yra paminėti apie projektą parašymąją etapą, kuris vyko penkis metus. Parašymoją etapą metu yra padaryti labai svarbus darbai. Tai suplanuota trasos vieta, tai yra padaryti pirkimai, atlikti rangovų atrinkimai, kurie statys šitą trasą. The stage of physical implementation of the project begins after obtaining the required construction permit and choosing specific contractors. Work is conducted independently in both countries by different contractors. The construction process of the power line starts with the marking of construction sites. Access roads are being prepared followed by the start of foundation works. 
next step of the construction is the transport of pole elements and mounting them on the construction site. With the help of a special crane, the next elements are being installed on top of the previous ones. When the poles are ready, the stage of stringing of power lines begins. During the construction process, more than 50,000 cubic meters of concrete was used, and the total weight of wires is about 11,000 tons. Aukštos įtampos elektros perdomų jungties tarp Lietuvos ir Lenkijos Lidpolink jungties darbai ir visa apimtis apima labai nemažai projektų Lietuvoje ir Lenkijoje. Lenkijos teritorija tai yra 11 projektų dalis perdomimo stočių ir oro linijų, Lietuvoje elektros perdavimo sistemos pastočių rekonstrukcija, statyba naujų ir unikalaus technologinio įrenkinio, tai yra aukštos įtampas nautinės savės perdavimo savės keitiklis. All elements and systems of the power interconnection are carefully tested before their commissioning. Prie šito projekto įgyvendinimo prisidėjo nemažai valdžios institucijų, savildos institucijų, taip pat įmonių, jų vadovų, darbuotojų, darbininkų, rangovų, tiekėjų, įvairių kitų suinteresuotų institucijų. Ir šitas visas bendradarbiavimas yra sėkmingai vainikuotas projektų užbaigimu. Parallel to the construction process, promoting activities supporting the idea of cooperation, building better partnership and relations between Poland and Lithuania are conducted. It is one of the main values in the non-business dimension of this project. For Poland and Lithuania, this project has been a big success. The benefits of the new connection are difficult to overestimate. Lietpo link jungtis atvira galimybę visą tyrinką gana plačioje teritorijoje. Su šiai jungtime sujungiam Lenkijos su Baltijos šalimis ir su Skandinavijos šalim, kadangi tuo pačiu metu mes baigsime jungti su Švedija. Taip kad rinkoje atsiranda galimybė konkurencijai, kainos spaudimų žemyn ir taip bet kokia atveju bus pozityvus veiksnys elektros vartotojai. We know that our Baltic friends are Europeans at their heart, but now I believe that they will also have the common heartbeat if it comes to the electricity. With the completion of this investment, the Baltic Ring is closed, and one of the main European priority projects is finished on time as planned. The Energy Connection, Litpol Link, is an international project that creates new dimensions of economic exchange. Its goal is also to introduce unique technological solutions on a global scale and to be a model for other large infrastructural projects in Europe. Project Litpol Link is one of the priority projects of the Union European. We have hope that there will also be further connections between Poland and the Baltic countries, allowing the full connection of the Baltic countries to the European system of electric energy. The Lithuanian project is very important to know that it is the first strong energy energy project in Lenkia. 
Ir mes tikime skaičių pavyzdžių auks ir daugiau. Netolimo ateitys statysime du įvamsdys su Lenkija, vėliau sinkronizuosime su kontinentės Europos tiktulais. Tai mūsų energetinė bendradarbiavimai su Lenkija mes padėjom labai gerą pamatą. Tai właśnie w Wilnie odbyła się uroczystość oficjalnego przekazania do eksploatacji projektu Lead Pol Link. This day should be recognized as a historic day. We have proved that it is possible to work effectively in order to eliminate energy islands and reinforce energy security in all states in the region. Jūs tapsite symbolinio įjungimo liudininkais.